Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set this up. So first of all, this is the plate. This will be placed last. Then you got these screws. And if you don't have them, you need them. Okay, so you guys need these. All right. Yes, you could use the old ones that came. If you already have one of these, like an old one, and you guys are upgrading to Wi-Fi one. But sometimes they don't fit. So sometimes, sometimes, very rarely. But anyways, you guys do have these. You guys will need these, so if you guys don't have these, go ahead and get them. Usually they come with your thing right here. So you have four of these. So luckily here everything's labeled, but we're just gonna be copying everything the way it is already set up. So you guys will see that this is your load. Here we got our neutral and ground. And for this specific one, we do need an app, okay? For this app, the CASA Smart one. If you guys have another one that's different, there might be another app. But regardless which app you guys need, the setup, the main setup, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if this is another brand you guys have or anything else, the main setup is going to be the exact same thing. Then once it comes down to the app, then it's a little bit different for some of you. But let's just get started. So the first thing we have to do is turn off our breaker for whichever switch you're doing this. So this is for my upstairs. So I'm gonna do this in my upstairs bedroom. So that means I have to go downstairs in my basement, look for the breaker that's for my bedroom, turn that off so that way there's no electricity passing through. Then can I, I can go ahead and mess around with this. That's the safest way to do it. Of course, people do it without turning off breakers. I highly suggest not doing that. I've seen big sparks happen because of people trying to do that. All right, so to make this video complete, I'm gonna show you this is my fuse box for me, okay? so. You have to turn off the one that goes to your light. It could be for a whole bedroom. If you can't find it and you don't want to mess around with this, there's the power for the whole house. Just turn it all off. So for me, it's this one here. Turn that off and there we go. All right. So all we have to do to take this out, this plate just comes off like this. Just with a little bit of pressure comes out just like so. Anyways, then we need to take out these guys, these guys, put these guys first. So we're just gonna use this. All right, so now we have all our wires exposed. And what you guys keep have to keep in mind, they have to keep everything as is. So that means our black wires, they will be hooked up exact same way. So we're gonna be just connecting those two there. We're gonna take this one which is right here, a green one. And we're gonna hook it up here to these exposed ones. That's because that's ground. And then our neutral is white. So we're just gonna add that in there. So it's basically just adding everything in. We're gonna be tying those together there. And that's it. So it's gonna be very, very simple. So here we go. All right, so what you guys wanna do is make everything straight. So that's what I was doing. And then you just have to put this, line them up together as close as you can. And go like this and this will tie them together afterwards we're gonna put some tape around so electrical tape just to make sure they stay on and we're gonna do the exact same thing here so we're gonna put that one there put that one there and then we're gonna be done pretty much all right so right now we tied this one this one this one we're gonna put some electrical tape that's just to make sure nothing goes out they usually don't but it's just for safety then from here, just push it in, push everything in, those wires. Sometimes it's easier for some of you than others if you don't have too much there happening. Then you have to align this and then we can just put some screws on. All right, so right now we're just gonna put these screws that you guys got with it. You guys can also use the ones that came already with your old one as well. Doesn't really matter. All right, guys, so once you guys have it nice and tight, it's not supposed to move from there. To take it out, there is a little slab down here below where you guys could place a screwdriver and try to take it out. It's still going to be a little bit hard to take it out anyways. Um, but anyways, right now you guys can turn on your power, and then we're going to be setting it up with our Wi-Fi. So that's coming up next. All right, so at this point, we're going to be downloading the CAS app. So on your phone, just go ahead and go into your app store. And then from there, just go into search. Once you're in search, just type in CASA. So here it is, CASA Smart. Scroll down, 
So this is the one that you guys want to get. Press on get, it should be free. And then again, it's a pretty small app. It doesn't take up too much space. You guys can actually see exactly how much space it gets. So it's half a gig, less than half a gig. And then you guys can see what you're compatible with. So anything over iOS 11, you guys should be okay. So once you guys open this up for the very first time, you should see a bunch of notifications. Go ahead and allow everything. Go into settings and allow. So just make sure right here it says allow. Then you guys can tap, go back to the app and tap on I've already given local permission. So that's the first thing. And if you guys don't have an account, this is the time to make one. So we're gonna create an account right now. Tap the very first thing there and go ahead and put in your email. Then it's gonna ask you for a password and confirm your password. Press on I accept a subscribe. Well, you don't have to subscribe, but you have to accept the terms and conditions. Then tap on create account all the way in the bottom. Make sure these passwords are not the exact same thing as your password for your email. Make sure you create one. That's for this specific app. Then only then create your account. All right, then it's gonna say that it sent you an email. So you need to confirm that email. So go into your email. Then I'm gonna show you how that looks like right now. So the email you should have got should have been something like this. Just tap on click to finish registration. From there, you guys should see something like this. It says congratulations. Just go back to your app at this point because right now you're in a web browser. And on your app, you're gonna see this down here below. It says, I'm already verified, tap there. And you have to do this, just allow your location. It's gonna work better if you do that. Then it's gonna ask you to log in. Once you log in, you're gonna see this. You have to accept, confirm, and then just press on done. From here, you can just start. So press on start now. And there we go. For now, just tap on the X and you guys can just go on and add your device. And by the way, you guys can do this from a phone or tablet. It doesn't really matter. All right, so once you turn on your power, you're supposed to see these lights. See that light? That's perfect. So at this point in time, what you guys have to do is set this up. So right here on this particular switch, we have reset buttons on the top. And if you hold down to the reset button for five seconds, it's to reset the Wi-Fi. But keep in mind, you're just resetting. So you're keeping other settings. Now, if you guys want to restart, you can just press your restart button, which is right there. Now, in this case, I set this up kind of the other way. So this is upside down, but that's because of the wiring inside. It doesn't matter. So we have a restart and a reset. Not everybody's gonna have these two, so no big deal. And to restore this back to factory settings, you guys have to hold on to that reset button for 10 seconds. That's gonna bring it back. So that means maybe you're changing Wi-Fi or something like that, or maybe you bought a house and it has this already installed, then you would have to do that yourselves. So in this guy, what the lights mean, so a solid amber would mean starting up, a blinking amber in green would mean ready for setup, resetting Wi-Fi, a blinking green would mean connecting to Wi-Fi, if it stays on green for 30 seconds, it's connected to Wi-Fi. A solid red would mean disconnected from Wi-Fi, blinking amber, device resetting, and white light just means the light is off. So those are basic things that you guys should know. So right now you guys can see that light, that circle, that's the light we're talking about. And at this point in time, it's ready for setup. So I'm gonna show you this on a tablet so you guys can see this in bigger. But uh, it's gonna be the exact same thing on your phone. So you guys are gonna see this, add device. Now that you're ready, go ahead, add device. Make sure to go into your settings and give it permission if it doesn't have it. So that means this, local network, it should have permissions. So if you have that already, just making sure, tap up here, ready to give it permissions, and then choose whichever comes to you. So this is a smart switch. So we're gonna choose exactly that smart switch. Then we have to enable this, so we're just gonna go into okay. Precise location, it's fine. Then we're just gonna press smart switch and then choose which one is uh, actually ours. So just make sure to choose the one that matches with yours. So if it's a dimmer, three-way dimmer, or all these other ones, you guys have like motion activated dimmer and all that stuff. Um, in this case, it's a really simple one. So it's just a smart switch. So we're gonna go one, smart switch it's not a three-way 
and we're gonna set up our Wi-Fi, Bluetooth setup, and all that stuff. So let's just start off with our Wi-Fi. So right now it's gonna tell you, is it all installed? Yes, of course it is. So we're gonna, yes. Right now it's gonna ask us to check. So it's checking for Wi-Fi, look at the front of your smart switch, and the LED blinking orange and green. So we can see that it's blinking, and that means we can go on and just put orange and green, because that's what it's supposed to be. From there, you have to connect to that TP link, okay? So we're gonna go into our settings. We're gonna go look for that Wi-Fi. So here it is, see this switch? That's it. Yours could be something else, could be 1B57888 or anything else. As long as it says something like that, that's what you guys can do. So you're actually connecting to the Wi-Fi that that's giving you in order to set it up. Then close this, go back into your app. In your app, you should see something like so. It's connecting right now. So keep it close. Now you have to choose your network. So in our case, we're gonna go on and choose, let me see, a stable one would be this one technically. And then we're gonna go on and set up the password. So you're not setting up a password, you're just putting the password for your own Wi-Fi. So this can connect up to it and then put safe password. Once you put your password, it's just gonna connect up. So here we go. Let's actually connect it up. But right now the, the app is gonna remember that. And if you got the password wrong, it's gonna tell you you got it wrong. But at this point in time, it's extremely easy and it should be easy to set this up. Later on, you guys can mess around with a bunch of settings, which does include uh, setting up a timer and all that stuff, schedule as well. You can name this device. So smart switch, I'm actually gonna call it smart switch, that's fine. But this would be for my bedroom. Bedroom, and we'll put Christmas lights. That's because that's what it is for, so I can remember. You guys can name it whatever you like. Then going to next, location. Again, I'm just gonna put bedroom next. You guys can go on and choose what icon. So it's kind of nice, so you guys know what you're plugging in there. So it's from, some of you might be one of these things here. And for me, it's just a switch, it's fine. It's actually for my Christmas lights. And right here, we're almost done. So just check firmware, that's for updates and stuff like that. Do not power it off, so just don't touch your smart switch. And then just put update now, and it's gonna download. Just don't touch anything. Let it download. It's gonna be a quick download. It's not a big deal to update these things. Right now it's installing. So again, it's very, very minimal updates that this will ever get. Most likely you're just gonna run the one update and that's it. So right now, just tap on sounds good. All right, and at this point, you're gonna see firmware update. You guys can set it up to whatever time it's best for you. For me, at this time is fine. So I'm gonna leave it. For most people, it is fine. And there we go, there's my switch. So right now you guys can turn it on, turn it off like that. So there we go, it's on, off. You guys should hear that. So you guys hear that in the background? There we go, so I'm turning it off and on from here. You guys can also turn it off, on and on from here. So it still works as a normal switch, but obviously you guys, most of you do this, and bought one of these because you guys want to set up a schedule. So anything that you guys want to set up, just tap on it, and then you're gonna see all the options down here below. So schedule, timer, and away, and then runtime. All right, so from your app, like I mentioned before, there's the schedule, and this is empty. This is something that for some reason on tablets you can't do, there's no plus sign on the top right hand side, but on your phone it should, it should work just fine. So tap on that plus sign, you guys can schedule this to be on, for example, uh, from sunrise to sunset, or you guys can just put a time. So for me, it's gonna be p.m. and it's gonna be around 5 p.m. That's what I want it on. Down here below, you guys can put it for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and all that stuff. So I'm gonna put it for every single day of the week. It's gonna turn on at that time. Then press safe on the top right hand side, so that's on at that time. Tap on plus. Now here it says turn off. For turning off, I want this to turn off around 2 a.m. So a.m. And I'm gonna turn it off at 2.30 a.m. So here we go. It's around 2.30 a.m. And I want it for every single 
day. So that's why I'm tapping down here below. And then I'm gonna press on save. So right here, you guys can see when it turns on, when it turns off. You guys can turn off the schedule at any time, any point in time, just by tapping here on the side so we can turn that off. So if you guys just want it off the whole time, for example, I would just turn off the schedule, not change it. And down here, I can see that it's set up for one time, so that's my bad. I was supposed to tap on everything. There we go, I'm just gonna fix that. So right now, everything's for the whole week. So it's gonna turn off at 2.30 in the morning, turn on at 5 p.m. And that's my schedule for this smart switch. So that's for most of you. You guys can do a lot more stuff in here. But anyways, as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.